Once upon a time in ancient Greece, Eidos was a popular goddess who was associated with various qualities such as shame, modesty, respect, and humility. Eidos was a divine force that kept people from doing wrong by instilling in them a sense of humility or shame. For instance, it was said that Eidos could make even the most arrogant of people feel embarrassed about their actions. One of the most interesting aspects of this goddess was her association with guilt. It was believed that the rich would feel a sense of guilt when they encountered the impoverished because they recognized that their wealth was undeserved. In this way, Eidos served as a force for justice as it encouraged those who had more than others to be mindful of their privilege. Humility was another important quality that was associated with Eidos. This virtue was highly prized in ancient Greece as it was seen as a way to reject egotism, arrogance, self-centeredness, and excessive pride while understanding human limitations. Aristotle defined humility as a middle ground between vanity and cowardice. In other words, it was about finding a balance between recognizing our strengths while also being mindful of our weaknesses. However, achieving humility was not an easy feat it required a great deal of self-reflection and self-awareness. This meant being honest with ourselves about our flaws and limitations. It also meant being careful not to take credit for our accomplishments or becoming too attached to our own successes. In the end, the story of Eidos reminds us that humility is an important virtue that can help us better understand ourselves and our place in the world. It teaches us to be mindful of our own strengths and limitations and to be respectful of others regardless of their status or background. Eidos, the goddess of shame and reverence, was not widely known compared to the other Greek deities. She was often thought of as a personification rather than a physical being, with some sources even claiming that she was the daughter of Prometheus. However, she was a close companion of Nemesis, the goddess of vengeance. Despite her obscurity, Eidos played a significant role in early Greek plays such as Prometheus Bound, Iphigenia at Aulis, and Oedipus Rex. Her altars could also be found in Athens and Sparta, signifying the importance of her symbolization of modesty and shame. Interestingly, there are also references to another figure named Eskine, who is also thought to personify shame and reverence. This has led some to believe that Eskine and Eidos may have been treated as interchangeable in Greek mythology due to their similar associations. Although she may have been overshadowed by other gods and goddesses, Eidos remains an intriguing and important figure in Greek mythology for her representation of self-respect and shame.